أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فخلف من بعدهم خلف أضاعوا الصلاة واتبعوا الشهوات فسوف يلقون غيا رب شح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, Assalamu alaikum Quran weekly. This is Ustad Nurman with the 16th juz and I'm reading something from Surah Maryam. This is ayah number 59 of Surah Maryam and this is Imad, my older son. Alhamdulillah, he's hanging out with me today. How are you doing Imad? Good. Good? You're going to listen carefully? Yes. Okay, good. Alright, so in this particular ayah, Allah talks about uh, Bani Israel, and actually uh, Nuh alayhi salam and Zuriyat Ibrahim and Israel, the children of uh, Nuh and the children of Abraham and the children of I, uh, Israel of Israel, Yaqub alayhi salam, and says something about a particular uh, uh, generation in their followers that just didn't live up to expectations. So Allah says, فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ Then after them who took over, there were people that didn't live up to expectations. خَلْف Khalaf actually means people that come afterwards that are uh, that meet expectations that were good people and khalf with a sukun are people that didn't go f didn't take their teachings of their ancestors further didn't actually they actually stepped backwards so that their ancestors were more knowledgeable and they came down and they were you know ignorant so Bani Israel is described as a nation that deteriorated after the coming of the prophets in, as generations came and what's the proof of their deterioration I'm sharing this with you because we should be warned that we don't become a people of deterioration right they wasted the prayer they put the prayer to waste they didn't care for it and they followed whatever whims and fancies and desires that they had and soon they are going to meet deviation. Ghayya is actually described as one level of hellfire, but is also described as a ghay from uh, ghawa, actually also means uh, misguidance in belief. Misguidance in belief. So Allah says a future generation of Muslims came who did not live up to expectations of previous generations. Number one, they wasted the prayer, meaning they wasted every opportunity to pray. Two, as a result, they became people of their own whims and their own temptations. And three, soon they will come to meet ultimate deviation, the old deviation in belief. They're going to end up believing in other things and start leaving Islam. That is the warning Allah gives about the people, the nation of Israel. When the Prophet ﷺ tells us that we are going to uh, You will absolutely follow the way of those who came before you, then we should be really warned that we don't become of the khalf. We should be of the khalaf. Right? And it's beautiful that Allah in this ayah did not say all of them were like this. He said among them were, were, were these kinds of people. You know, after them came some, some that were khalf. So we have an opportunity to be those who make our previous generations proud and we join them in Jannah or we have the opportunity to become like these disappointments. And really people look at us of the, of the past generations on Judgment Day and say these, these are the khalf. But Israel had a khalf and we have a khalf. May Allah not make us of them. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim.